Beautiful Neymar. Beautiful. What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and this is definitely one of my most requested videos now that V2.4 finally kind of rewards a little bit of wing play, right? Should you be using side midfielders and wing backs or else outright wingers, right? And it's a very difficult question to answer, but I think this is probably one of my most in-depth videos. It's taken me so long to edit it, so I would appreciate if you guys would like it and any feedback, any suggestions that you have, right? So if you are playing out wide, right, there is two things you really need to decide. Now, we're going to break it down into four things, right? But the two things you need to decide is whether you're going to be a cut-in winger or you're going to be a crossing winger. That's kind of the two things, right? And then they're kind of split into subcategories, right? So you've got four types of wide players, right? You've got, number one, a pure pace dribbler. This guy is going to be maxed out acceleration, really just depending on his pace, his dribbling, his speed, to be able to get up and down the flank. We've got an all-around crosser who's going to be a very technical uh, player that's able to get on the ball, dribble, can play in multiple positions, either flank, left or right. Not going to worry too much about defending or getting back defensively or winning the ball back, but being able to cross the ball on both feet, have a load of player skills and very technical. We've got a shooting dribbler, as you saw there, with Neymar or Messi or somebody that you can cut in with and score lovely curl shots. These curl shots are a little bit nerfed since V2.4 has come out. And then we've got the wing back. Now, this is going to be somebody like Kimmich who can play right, ba right back or Hakimi or somebody like Cancelo who can play left or right back or left or right midfield in that position as a wing back. So for an example of number one, our pure pace dribbler is going to be St. Maximin. You can see there 99 acceleration, 96 dribbling. That's going to be huge for him. Absolutely beast. Going to be using his, his pace. We've got De Maria as our crossing winger. So this guy can play anywhere. He can play right mid, left mid, AMF, left... Uh wing, right wing, and he's going to be crossing the ball in very technically. Neymar's going to be cutting in with those curl shots. You'll see one here in a second from Messi. You need to be able to shoot if you are going to be training a winger up to use this because it's probably the hardest since V2.4 um, when they've patched it. You need to be able to shoot curl shots like this, and Neymar's brilliant at them, Messi. And then you've got somebody like this. Now, he's just a cheap budget option. He's a box-to-box -box right midfielder, and this guy is going to be perfect for getting crosses in. He's got pinpoint crossing, early cross, excellent... Uh, stamina and excellent speed for a budget option right so we're going to have a couple of examples so this is a good stereotypical example here of a pattern of play that you're going to get i'm playing this guy five minutes into the game he's pressing me quite aggressively now before v2.4 right you would have seen that up the byline here a little touch and go here from neymar to Vieira is going to work but you'll see the far option there with uh, Cavaradonna. he's going to be over on the wing and yeah, while I do use this little touch and go, straight away I know with V2.4 that it, before V2.4, I'm going to be able to exploit that space. Vieira continues his runs on, but I know that the AI is so handholdy at the moment that I'm going to get cut down very, very easily, get the ball dispossessed if I take on that track there. So I try to recycle it back. We get a bit lucky, but my main goal here is to get the ball into the space out wide. And here we go. Beautiful little pass. And then we've got so many options here. We'll get to this and break this down in a second but we do get a goal from a cross in that starts with Neymar, ends with Neymar from the opposite wing crossed in, right? So a lot of this depends on how you set your team up. The first option here that I will break down is, a, is kind of a wing back or else a crosser. I've kind of mixed it into two. So we've still got Cavardana uh, up right wing, and we've got Kimmich and Messi that we can kind of mess around with in the middle of the pitch. We've got Trent on the overlaps for crosses as well. But Acuna here is going to be kind of helping out Maldini. When Trent goes forward, we're going to be kind of defending with three and going forward with three on the wings whenever we want to, either manually or else with the AI, right? Because Trent or Carlos or any of those guys are going to be very attack-based. So when we have somebody like Acuna or Neymar playing this position, it's going to be all about getting... You know, getting crosses in, getting balls into the box without having to like walk it in, right? So we're going to just be very patient in how we build it up, get a lot of space. And sometimes it's not going to work. They have patched the crosses, you know, thankfully it was a bit OP. But our whole goal here is going to be to get the ball out wide. You saw this chance a couple of seconds ago. I've seen kind of in the corner of my eye, right, we've got serious space out wide. All we need is a lovely pass into Messi. And from here, this is where you can kind of like feast, right? You've got three options with a player like this, cross, cut back or dribble in. And you can do a load of them. You'll see a lot of examples in this video of each one, right? But a wing back is going to be helping you out. There isn't much to it. All you need is a player that has got fairly good aggression 
and is able to be technical enough on the ball and is able to cross that's still able to get back it doesn't have to be a right back or a left back it can be anyone once you are manually defending the second option is probably the best in my opinion it's your 4-3-3 right so you've got your three midfield guys you've got your dmf anchorman you've got your cmf box to box or uh you know kind of destroyer and then you've got your amf to kind of slot through the middle but your real attack pattern here is going to be out wide right so you've got Vinny and you've got cavaracelia who's going to be your main attack and pattern option here we've got our overlaps with trent if we want that uh, but Vinny here or Cavaradonna, they're going to be just cutting in, right? They're going to be cutting in as best as they possibly can. And we're going to be setting up, you know, cutbacks. We're going to be shooting. It's going to be all about high press up the pitch and having your most dangerous players in attacking positions that aren't really getting back defending. You know, it's all going to be about your skill level, whether you can dribble, whether you can stop and go, whether you can read the play, you can do a couple of skills. I do think that this is probably a hard... Um, you know, like unrewarding play style to play because a lot of the time, you know, the refs won't give you freeze. You'll get bundled out of the way. It is very, very easy to defend it. If you come up against somebody, even though you'll see like time and time again, look at the amount of space I'm going to carve out here. We've got Roberto Carlos on the left flank who's going to be overlap and there's going to be no attention paid from the defender onto De Maria here, right? So De Maria is going to be a very technical player. He's not going to be pure pace. But once we get into a position like that, we've got so many options. We can cut back and shoot. We can cross. We can pass and go. And again, you'll see a very similar situation here with Pedri. It's the exact same situation that has presented itself, except instead of on the right flank, we're on the left flank. And as this goes on, Pedri is playing left mid. We're going to cut inside. We've loads of space and we just slot it home, right? So a lot of this comes down to whether or not you like and you're confident enough in taking players on, right? And it's all about playing possession. If you're used to playing quick counter with wingers, you know what you're going to be doing with wingers. It's going to be the odd trick, double touch like we have here. You're going to be getting the ball into a more central position. You're going to be passing it across. And you're going to be trying to walk it in. Now, it doesn't work out for us in this situation, but we do recycle the ball and get it back and we do miss it up there. Um, but yeah, it's going to be all about getting the ball into this, you know, tight dribbling, touch and go, very direct, not really faffing about too much with it, taking shots, getting chances. The minute we're in the box, we're going to be shooting, right? But I think that the most kind of fun and the most overpowered way of playing is probably having a balanced, you know, a balanced approach to it so it's going to be about tight dribbling it's going to be about stuff like that that you can get the ball into dangerous positions because at the end of the day man if you are playing out wide you need to be taking players on and you need to be cutting back for easy tap-ins or else you need to be taking on you know crossing the ball in and having a bit of defensive cover there and playing through the middle so i definitely recommend out wide i think it's very very fun and if i had to kind of put my you know put my colors uh down or put my you know like really make a decision on it i definitely think wingers are op in the game but you just don't score a lot of goals from it if you don't mix it up like if you just play one way if you're if you're wanting to score goals the meta is still playing through the middle but you can have a lot of variety in your play especially if you're playing in tournaments or stuff like that and if you are good you can destroy people on the wings people that are used to defending through the center and uh, people that are used to playing meta versus meta um or overpowered middle play through the middle, you can destroy somebody by playing possession, keeping the ball and springing attacks out wide. So that is it for me, lads. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's taken me a long time to do this video with all the changes for V2.4. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you did and I will be back quite soon. Peace.